Hey, I'm Brad from Fix This Build That. Today, I'm going to show you this flip top tool stand. It holds an oscillating spindle sander on the top and a portable planer on the bottom. You can flip it back and forth in between them in a matter of seconds. There are plans for the whole project on my website. The link is down in the description. Let me give you some details about the build. The entire thing is made out of a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. The top is 27 inches wide and 21 and a half inches deep. There's two pieces of plywood and sandwiched in between is a grid of 1x2 poplar. That grid is going to hold the pipe as well as hold some extra support for the lag screws for the tool so it's really secure. The sides are 30 inches tall. That gives an opening of 20 and a half inches. My planer is 20 inches tall so that's perfect. If your planer is taller than 20 inches then you might need to raise the sides to 31 or 32 inches. The drawer down below is 24 and a half inches wide by 20 inches deep and it's a great place to store some of the accessories. I have some extra planer blades in here. I have some of the accessories that go with the spindle sander. For when I use the spindles, I even have a little holder that I made out of some scrap to hold the collars for the spindle sander. The whole cart rides on three inch locking casters. I'm gonna lock them into place and I'm gonna show you a little bit more detail about the locking hardware and the pipe that this thing rides on. The locking hardware is made up of an eye bolt assembly with a star knob and fender washer. A 3 8 inch bolt goes through and holds the eye bolt in place. The eye bolt's held into an open mortise, and as you loosen the star knob, you can pull it out of the slot in the side, rotate the top, and then pull it back and lock the top in by tightening down the five star knob. The whole unit rides on a three quarter inch steel pipe that goes through the top and out the side. The pipe is secured in place on both ends by a one and a quarter inch screw drilled through the top and into the pipe. On the end, it comes out three eighths of an inch, so it has a little bit extra support. That's an inch and an eighth of total support through the side and into the pipe block. The pipe blocks are secured to the side with one and a quarter inch screws. All right, to flip it over, all you do is unlock the hardware, flip it over in your hands, and lock it back into place. That's it, now you're ready to plane. Well, that's the flip top tool stand. If you want to build one of your own, you can go to fixthisbuildat.com. The link is below in the description. There's a full blog post showing you detailed pictures and instructions and a downloadable PDF that's going to give you all the materials and supplies that you need to do it. I plan to do a lot more videos in 2016 showing you my builds from the blog, but I also eventually want to get into doing some builds that are full builds here on YouTube. So I hope you subscribe below and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I love interacting with you guys. So until next time, get out there and build something awesome.